Genesis, the first book of Moses, chapter 21. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the same time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was an hundred years old, when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God has made me to love, so that all that here will love with me. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. And the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore well, she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for the son of this bondwoman shall not be here with my son even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad, and because of thy bondwoman. In all that Sarah has said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac shall thy seed be told. And also of the son of the bondwoman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and took bread and a bottle of water, and gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder, and the child, and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle. And she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and sat down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, Let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over against him, and lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the Lord, and the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven, and said unto her, What allays thee, Hagar? Fear not, for God has heard the voice of the Lord where he is. Arise! Lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went, and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad, and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an anchor, and he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. And it came to pass at that time that Abimelech and Pichu, the chief captain of his house, spoke unto Abraham, saying, God is with thee in all that thou dost. Now therefore swear unto me hereby, God, that thou wilt not deal falsely with me, 
nor with my son, nor with my son's sons, but according to the kindness that I have done unto thee, thou shalt do unto me, and to the land wherein thou hast sojourned. And Abraham said, I will swear. And Abraham reproved Abimelech because of a will of Walter, which Abimelech's servants had violently taken away. And Abimelech said, I wot not who has done this thing, neither didst thou tell me, neither yet had I of it, but today. And Abraham took sheep and oxen, and gave them unto Abimelech, and both of them made the covenant. And Abraham set seven hour lamps of the flock by themselves. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What mean these seven hour lamps which thou hast set by themselves? And he said, For these seven hour lamps shalt thou take of my hand, that they may be a witness unto me, that I have digged this well. Wherefore he called that place Besheba, because there they swore both of them. Thus they made the covenant at Besheba. Then Abimelech rose up, and Picho, the chief captain of his host, and they returned into the land of the Philistines. And Abraham planted a grove in Beersheba, and called thereon the name of the Lord, the everlasting God. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines' land many days.